We're back, baby. It's been 243 days. I got an anemone, I got scammed, and I still can't find my conch. But at least I didn't get crabs. But I did. Reef Bros here. We finished up conquering Reef Apalooza. I got two torches. Douglas got a huge frog spawn. Yet the best thing that we got out of it were these reef glasses. But we're Reef Bros here. We like to focus on the positives. You know, like crushing some weights, getting big. That's why Douglas is over there still repping out some sets. What are you filming me for? Talk about the NEM. Oh, it's an enemy day, not forearm day. What am I doing here? So. This beautiful anemone is the, one of the latest additions to my tank. I went on Facebook, you know, it was like, boop, 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 I want an anemone. And this guy was like, yo, I got some anemones. I'll sponsor Reef Bros. True story. I went over to his house, saw his amazing tank with a clownfish that was like this big. And he's like, you know what? Here's the deal. For 45 bucks, you can have this quality rainbow bubble tip anemone. So we got that Reef Bro pricing, you know, sliding in. And now let's get a close up of them. This little guy has been wild. So I started out by putting him right at the tip of the rock. So I was like, that would be such a cool spot if it's set up right at the top there. And the next thing I know, it started actually working its way, crawling around the sides and it ended up hanging on the bottom for a while. And then finally, it set up in almost the perfect spot, right smack dab in the front. It makes it almost as like a beautiful, colorful centerpiece for my tank. And did I mention, how strong these guys are like look at that it just grabbed right onto this piece of mysis shrimp like he was still new he finally opened up and look at that so much bigger than when he was first crawling around but it just grabs onto the mysis shrimp and it just works its way closing a part of its tentacles and it just pulls it into its mouth these things are so much fun to watch now that we've learned about the nem let's talk about reefa palooza more like waste a lot of money of palooza it was overall a really fun experience. It was great to see all the corals, all the coral vendors. Some of you guys, if you're watching, you guys are scam artists. Let me tell you, the prices for some corals, they were charging like $50, $70 for two-headed polyps of zoas at a convention. Not cool, bro. Not cool. I splurged. I ended up falling victim to, victim to it. I bought two torch corals. They were nice and flowy, dancing around everywhere. Got them back, put them in my tank, dead. And then I got a frog spot. I said, man, this thing looks great. Put it in my tank, two days later, dead. And you know what? I think I learned the lesson. These corals are getting shipped from, let's say, Florida to New Jersey. And then they're getting put in the tank for an hour, constantly touched, bought, moved again, and then in a tank that they're foreign from. Honestly, I don't think buying from a convention is a good idea. I think it's just killing more corals than it's helping get to the community. If you guys noticed, Douglas got a lot of coral from Corals Anonymous, but he only saw a couple of them. So where did the rest from Corals Anonymous go? They went into my tank. So I got a couple pieces here. Let's take a look at them. And now for a quick update on all the new coral I got from Corals Anonymous. So starting off, I got this cool A-can. It's still stuck in a lot, but I'm hoping it'll really open up a lot. Then I got this little pinwheel. I don't really know what it does, but it was like five bucks. So I was like, why not? And then I finally stepped into the world of torches. When I first put it in the tank, boy, was it mad. So it took a little while and then all of a sudden, boom. Look at that, she's flowing everywhere. This is a Rasta torch. It has yellowish, greenish tips and then black tentacles. So it looks really cool. And last but not least, I got an Octo Spawn. It kind of looks like an octopus tentacle with all the little dots. Boo -doop, boo -doop. And you know, we'll give you guys an update later about the whole growth that's been going on, how everything's been opening up and slowly spreading. But like we've said before, Reefing is a journey. There's a lot of peaks and valleys, as shown as this, where we have a peak of this beautiful anemone and the valleys of losing some torch corals. It's a pleasant journey. You have sometimes heaters die and you have sometimes corals start growing like rapid. 
So the important part is to keep going, keep learning, and keep building your reefing skills to have that beautiful dream reef tank where you'll have a lovely Joey and Chloe to stare at you all day. Reef Bros, out. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I need, I need money for fish. <laughs> <laughs>